Hey everyone, I pray that you really had a blessed Christmas and I wanted to wish you a happy new year. I have been thinking about a message that I wanted to do for the last month and I think I'm just going to give a brief on it about something that I received about a month ago and it was while in prayer and meditation and it was about the year 2018 and this was something like a very repetitive in my spirit and that the more that I prayed about it and the more that I really dwelled on the words that I was receiving I know that we look around the world and as we look into the world we see this chaos right we see this you know, things going on in certain parts of the world, things going on here in America. And, you know, when we look with our physical eyes, we're like, wow, you know, the world's really crumbling down. Or there's so many problems and such. But, you know, Jesus wrote in his teachings about the time that we're going through. And it's the new age. It's the new wine, so to speak, when Jesus was talking about the old wine and the new wine, and so much correlates with what he talks about, and I want to get into those messages in 2018, because they're absolutely beautiful, and it talks about this new age that we have entered in around 2010, 2012, and since then, so many people have awoken to the truth of God, of Christ, and of themselves. You know, they've come to the truth of who they are in Christ. Because we know, you know, I keep on preaching about the kingdom of God is within us. And once we grasp a hold of that, and we realize that all that we need is within us, it's not out there. Nothing is out there as far as this world has to offer. And I'm not talking about relationships. I'm talking about what the world has to offer. Um, it, nothing is out there for us. Sure, we have to go to work. We have to supply for families. We have to do all sorts of things as far as being a part of this world, being in the world. But our sole purpose, our true meaning is within and as I see 2018 I see it filled with just wonderful new beginnings I truly do I believe that we're gonna see so many changes happening in government in religion itself I see that organized religion and I'm talking about all all organized religion does it Christianity Muslim so on okay anything that is organized that is constructed and constructed by organizations you're gonna start seeing these all crumbling and fall you truly are because the truth isn't found in the buildings anymore and the pastors behind the pulpits aren't preaching the truth and we should all pray for them that they do start preaching the truth because what they're preaching now is more like what's going on in the dark ages or what was going on in the dark ages I should say and it's not so anymore because the new wine's been poured out and there's beauty and there's love and there's compassion and peace see that peace you can only obtain within yourself. You, you can't look out here for something, for, for that peace. It has to first come from within you, and then it sprouts out of you. It truly does. It just, just comes and blossoms out of you. And from that, from that fountain that is just brewing and flowing inside of you, the rivers of life, that you then can reach your desires your goals, what you want, what you need in your life. You know, I see so many people that they're stuck, you know, they're, they're stuck in the mundane things. They're stuck in 
I don't know, relationships, work, marriages, things of that sort. They're just really stuck and they don't know how to get out of it. And it's almost like they've given up, like saying, well, this just must be it. There's nothing more to life. Because a lot of the times the church, you know, the pastors, the church, the priests will come in and they'll just say, you know, tough it out. You know, got to do this, got to do that. Look at what the word says. And they take it as the literal sense. And that's what I want to get into more when I talk about these videos that I'll be uploading about. We cannot just take parts of the Bible literally and other parts of the Bible symbolically. You have to choose. And in order to choose, you have to really seek. Jesus said, seek and you shall find. Jesus said, the truth, you know, shall set you free. And it does. It truly does, guys. When I finally started discovering that truth three, four years ago, and it was absolutely amazing. Sure, at first it was like, wow, you know, really? Is this really the, is the way? Is this really the truth being spoken here of what I'm learning and so forth? And as time went on and I prayed about it and I just asked God to lead me deeper and deeper, if this truly was from Him, if this truly was from the Spirit. And I was. I mean, everywhere I went, it was just like these this wonderful confirmations that I was receiving. And once I started to grab a hold of it and stop resisting, because, you know, when we're raised uh, as Christians, per se, let's say you come from a family of Christians and they taught you, you know, church, Bible study, blah, 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 you know, that's your mindset. That's the only thing that you know. So you continue on your whole life like this. But deep within you, there's always that still small voice. There's always that inner voice inside of you that's saying, you know what, there's something more here. There's just something more. But yet, you don't want to question the pastor. You don't want to question the church. You're feeling like, oh, I'm not qualified. Well, God shows no favoritism. And we're supposed to ask questions. And we're supposed to reach out. I mean, if you want to understand something, you have to dwell into it. And as I began to do that, and God began to reveal more and more of just the beauty, the absolute beauty of his word, his whole entire word from Genesis through Revelation is absolutely beautiful. It's nothing like when you read it literally. I mean, my goodness, look at the Old Testament. The Old Testament is filled with and I'll show you this when we go along, but I mean, it's filled with rape, it's filled with murder, it's filled with incest, it's filled with slavery. Even the New Testament's filled with some of this stuff too. So when you read these things literally, you're like, wow, what's going on here, you know? I mean, you know, God's telling these people, go and take those virgins for yourself. I mean, is that really the God we serve? I don't think so. But when you look underneath, and you look at the spiritual symbolic meetings because in the Old Testament and Jesus and Paul, they all said this is parable, this is dark sayings, this is symbolic, this is allegory. So it's like when we take certain things in the Bible and say, oh, well, this is literal, but oh, over here in Revelation, there can't literally be a red dragon coming out of the sea. So we take that as symbolic, right? Well, we, we can't pick and choose. We can't pick what we think is symbolic and what we think is literal. We have to learn the truth. And, you know, some people will, and they'll want to, and others won't. And that's just their path. The path that I'm going on, and I have been on, is that I want to show you guys the beauty of the word and it's nothing at all it's so much nothing at all that we've been taught and there's many others many many others that have woken up to this and have really sought this through and have been set free 
Let me just say that. Religion. Okay. Religion has degraded women and has stripped men of their manhood. It truly has. And that's very unfortunate and it's very sad because this is not the way God intended it. He didn't intend it at all like this. So as these videos are uploaded, I invite you all to just come with an open mind and seek for yourself. Because that's the most important thing is to seek yourself. When anybody puts up anything on YouTube or the Internet or even in your own church, when you're listening to a service, just don't take it as, oh, that must be true. Or don't reject it right away. Go, is there something here? Let me search for myself. You know, at one point, and this was about four years ago, after I was like going through this Bible, I was like, you know, I'm ready to put this away because this is like really graphic and violent and so much stuff going on here. And this literal interpretation was driving me crazy. And I did. I set it aside for a few weeks and then something kept prompting me to go back and go back and, and there I was. I began my journey into seeking the beautiful awesomeness of God. I just, I look at the contrast of what's taught in the church and I look at what truly God meant, you know? And it's so far off. And I can see why so many Christians are messed up in their thinking. I can see why so many Christians are like end times and doom and gloom and fear and destruction. Because they're listening to the stuff and, and they honestly believe in their heart that, that what they're reading is the truth. Because this is what they've been taught. But it's not. It's not the truth. And I pray for each and every single person that they see that. Ask God yourself. In your prayer, in your meditation time, ask God to lead you to the truth in his word. He will. He definitely will. But you have to come with an open heart. You have to come with a sincere heart. So I'm going to not keep on going on because I'm going to end up getting probably into some type of teaching, preaching thing that I usually do. Um, I do pray, guys, that when you begin 2018, just like what I wrote up here on the screen, you know, don't look back at this past year, because I know a lot of people have had some hard times. Don't look back on this past year with regrets or sorrows. You know, we can't keep recycling ourselves into each year, each year. You know, we just kept repeating the same cycles, repeating the same behaviors. As we walk into 2018, I'm not talking about resolutions or anything like that. I'm talking about in the heart. Walk in and say, you know what? That chapter is closed now. Now I'm going to open up a, a fresh new book. And I'm going to start writing my own, my own chapter of what I want, what I desire, what I need for me. Because when you're walking in the fullness, this is so important, the fullness of truth of yourself, you are glorifying God. I hope you caught that. Because that is amazing. When you're walking in lies, when you're walking in confusion, when you're walking in doubt, indecision, how can you be so connected with God then? Because your mind, your carnal mind is just all cluttered. So when you clear out all that stuff and you're walking in your own truth, 
That's when wonderful things begin to happen in your life. So I just wanted to say that I really hope you had a great Christmas, and I pray that this new year for you is going to be absolutely beautiful. There's wonderful things in store. There truly is. I thank you all for listening. I love you all, and God bless you.